59J. We out here. Nickel, nickel. Yeah. See dub on the beat. Slide through that city, made that Chevy swerve. Yeah. The bank account jumping, got to do a twerk. I keep hating like you is and get your feelings hurt. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feeling a blessing, like I always say, is one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. With that being said, I had to put a disclaimer in this video because what I'm about to show y'all, I'm going to mute it. Hopefully, I don't get flagged for it. Hopefully, I don't get taken down for it. But, you know, I had a positive message behind it. So, let's get right into the video since y'all seen the thumbnail and y'all ran to the video. With that being said, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my Apple and Spotify music. Or you can go to my YouTube channel. Look at my playlist. Renegade Music will be right there. You can stream all my music right there and my music videos. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Most importantly, thank you guys for your guys' support. Man, there's so many videos about Fresno, California. Y'all should already know by now. Don't step out of the, If you're from out of town and you step foot in that thing, just know something might just be coming. You got a 75% chance of getting done up and getting jumped when you go to that city. It's a beautiful city. It's a nice city, bro. But there's there's the urban areas, bro. There's the, the ghetto areas, the boroughs, the barrios. Bulldogs ain't playing out there. Bro, you better not go to the fairgrounds, bro, and think you can just jump on a ride. Think you ain't going to get rode on. Because that's what happened in this video. And you already know the story I told you guys about me. You know, I was trying to mess with a thick, big girl out there, man. She was pretty. She had a bubble butt. And then showing up, man, I get set up and just get jumped. And he got me running down in the dark and dark alleys, hopping fences. And ended up in a gas station begging for a ride. Yeah, don't do you like that out there. Bro, you can't drive down a block faster than the speed limit without seven houses running out the driveway with guns. Running out their garage, like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Light them up. Light them up. You don't want to do that. Fresno is a whole different scene, bro. Trust me, I went to Burlington's the other day. About four of them walked in. I was like, man, I'm about to get jumped in Burlington's in the toy section, bro. This is going to be a YouTube viral. Man gets beat up by Bulldogs over a Gel Blaster 5000. Like, I didn't want that to happen. I thought, man, I should have got jumped, bro, because I found some Jordans at at, at uh, Burlington. I was like, no way. I found a pair of Jordans for the first time, 50 bucks. Man, I wore them for two days, man, creased on the front. I was like, man, I got some knockoffs, bro. I can't believe Burlington did me like that, but I, I ought to sue them for that crap. I need my $50 back, bro. That's what I get for balling on the budget. You get what you pay for. I put the shoes on, and now they're messed up two days later. They're all bent. They just, ugh, whatever. So a couple of out-of-towners, Norteños. Decided to go to Fresno, to the fairgrounds, to go ride a ride. Go buy the famous fairground corn dogs. You know, those corn dogs be hella extra crispy. And then when you eat it all and you start chewing on the stick and there's that little, little bump at the end, you're just nibbling on it because that's like the best part. It's the best crispiness. And you're like, well, they show up to have a good time, do whatever it is they're going to do. I'm not sure if they're out there ripping their colors, ripping their set, throwing it up. I'm not sure who approached who. But obviously, the Bulldog radar, they detect the Northerners within the premises. They're, you know, it's like, you know how you go up to a fence and it says, beware of dog. But by the time you show up and realize that there's a beware of dog sign right there that don't jump the fucking fence because there's dogs behind there. Them dogs already been in the corner. They smell your smelly ass from a mile away. Like, ooh, enemy alert. Mm, get up. Get up. Oh, I'm telling you, that's might have what happened, bro, because you look at the video. Bulldogs swarm these two individuals. And I ain't got to narrate it for you. It's on the screen right there. They're, you know, they're chasing everybody around. But that's, that just goes to show. Like, you, Fresno, California, like I said, I go there like every day off. I'm out there. I love chilling out there. So much good things to do. It's a beautiful city to check out. You just got to be careful. But I think the concept of that is anywhere you go, you got to be careful. Just like I went to Anaheim to go to Adventure City and one of my subscribers says, hey, bro, right across the street on the aisle, just be careful, bro. That's that's the OC area, bro. Orange County and Sorenios are all right there in that area. Just be through, child. Like, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? I didn't know that. And me, I'm the kind of type that's like, when I go to these new cities, like, you know, Anaheim, Norwalk, you know, there's the uh, Santa Fe swap me. Uh, if I go to Fresno, if I went, like I went to San Jose. When I went to San Jose, I was getting banged on left and right. Everybody recognized me from YouTube. Nobody tripped, but everybody was like, I've seen your face before. I've seen you on YouTube. I watch your videos. You know, I'm the kind of type of person. I go out there. I'm like, bro, I want to see this city, bro. 
I want to see what's out here, bro. It looks nice out here, man. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go check out this store. Let's go check out the Burlington here. Let's see if they got any, you know, tight gear. Something for your boy for YouTube. Like, my next trip's going to be uh, down south to the Grove. I've been wanting to go to that mall forever. You know, I've been to Venice. I've been to Santa Monica. I've been everywhere. You know, so my intention is to go out there and just be out in the open. Like, hell yeah, bro. It's, it's nice out here. The last thing I want is be like, man, it's cool. Hey, what's up, Bessie? What? <laughs> Damn. And it's crazy that this is how we live. Me and my family have a protocol. I've told I've told Tani and I've told everybody, I even taught the kids. If I tell you to go to the car, Tani knows to grab the kids, go to the car, keep the car on, and just leave me by myself. So that way, nothing happens to them. Whatever happens to me happens to me. And if I actually make it back to the car in time, you know, the car's already ready, let's speed off. That's the kind of like precautionary measures that I have to do nowadays when I go out and about, even in the cities that I'm living in. Like going to the mall is like, it's it's real, it's, it's hard to do. But when I do, bro, I'm walking around with a fanny pack, if you know what I mean. A fanny pack underneath my shirt. Like, so the whole time I'm trying to enjoy a store, I'm looking at, you know, some cookies outfits, you know what I mean? Some, you know, North Face, and I'm like... I can't even go eat a, a fucking mall pep, uh, uh, what is those, those pepperoni pretzels? I'll be right there ordering a pepperoni pretzel like. Man, who, 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 who's that, who's that, who's that, who's that, who's that, who's that? Who's that? You know, that's how it is for me. And I get it. And a lot of YouTubers that are subscribed to me, meet me in public, they see me, they come and they approach me like, with no hesitation, like, what's up, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I, there's a part of me that wants to enjoy the communication, enjoy the encounter, enjoy the meeting, you know, take a picture with them, you know, talk to them for a little while. But then the other half of me is like, man, what's his intentions? You know, what is he up to? What is he thinking? Is he calling anybody, letting nobody know I'm here? Then I start looking around to see if he came with any homeboys, if anybody else is approaching for that matter. That's how serious it's gotten. But, you know, I am thankful that all the situations that I've had recently have been more positive. But the last thing you want is a situation like this. When you're just getting jumped for going out of town. So that's my message for everybody, especially if you want to go to the city of Fresno. Just know, you know, Fresno is full of gangs, but most importantly, it's full of bulldogs. I've been to Didi's. I've been to all the Didi's. And every time I've been to all the Didi's in Fresno, bulldogs were there. I went to a pizza parlor out there, man. It's like they had like they were making pizzas in the wall. Like wooden, like wooden burn pizzas. It was pretty good. Bulldogs right there eating. I don't know how many times I've been in the fashion fair and I seen bulldogs either in the mall or outside just chilling on the bench and smoking, smoking, smoking a blunt. I'd be like, man, Jesus Christ. But that's just the risk everybody takes when you're part of the gang culture. You know, you want to go out of town. You want to travel the world. You want to see the world. That's just the risk you're going to take. And as much as, you know, this is, happens all the time, I don't want to see this happen to anybody. I don't want to have to go to a fairground and, and get on the zipper or get on the Ferris wheel or something. And next thing you know, as soon as I get off and I'm about to vomit because I was getting spun out of control. And, you know, you know, my chain got in my mouth and I almost swallowed my, my cross because it was going crazy. And I get out and there are like seven, eight bulldogs waiting for me. Like, hey, bro, we, we, finna, we finna send the whole litter on this boy. We finna put all these paws on this food. He getting his ass whooped today. We sending it. And then they're going to record it too. So next thing you know, it's going to be on YouTube. Renegade Media Jump by Bulldogs. You know that shit going to go viral. And then I'm going to be mad because I'm going to be I'm going to have to do a reaction video to him. But I look, man, look at me, man. Look at me. Bro, I'm running so fast, bro. Look at him. And they still caught up to me. Look at him. Look at him, man. Look, they're, they're holding on to my boxers, bro. So I, don't, so I can stop running. They're actually giving me a wedgie as they're socking me in the back of the head. Like, I'll do my own reaction to my own video. Like, bro, Renegade, I can't believe you ran, bro. You a pussy, bro. Straight up, bro. But it is what it is, though. That's what happens, bro. So I, like, that's the precautionary measures I have to take and that I have to be, like, alert about. And it sucks to live like that. But it's not going to stop me from going where I want to go and doing what I want to do and living the way I want to live. This message in this video is showing that these out-of-town Norteños, hey, you got to understand, though. As Norteños, they don't really care about how a bulldog thinks and where he lives and where he resides and what he finna do. These Norteños went out there like, man, we all up in Fresno. You know, I already know the Norteño mentality, man. We out here, bro. They ain't finna do shit to us. Guess again. Guess again. You got mauled by a wolf pack. Straight up. 
Like you walked in, you walked into the wrong kennel, bro. And these dogs were hungry for a fight. And that's one thing. Like I said, I, I, I shot it out to this to this channel. It was like I said, it was six two four BDS or BDS six two four. That's the YouTube channel. Go on that channel, bro. You'll see bulldog fight after bulldog fight after bulldog. That's all they do out there is fucking fight. Whether it's over dope, whether it's over guns, whether it's over women, whether it's over streets, whether it's over uh, kibbles and bits, it don't fucking matter. They out there fighting every day, faithfully. Bro, you cannot be a bulldog if you didn't go home with at least two squabbles today. Like, bro, did you fight anybody today? Dog, you, you fucking up, dog. You better go out there and knock out this homeless person. Dog, you better go to that gas station and run a fade in before you come back to the hood, bro. I don't see your knuckles dirty. Your knuck like, Nipsey, like Nipsey said, your knuckles ain't scarred enough. You better go back out there. But I, 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 I trip out on this video because I know the thing is, I know their mentality was like, bro, I'm finna go out here and thug it out, bro. I don't give a fuck. You know, I ain't finna do shit. What's the odds of them catching me slipping? Well, the fucking odds was right there. The odds weren't in your favor. You just got dealt the wrong hand and got served. And that's very unfortunate is that because everybody, you know, like I said, everybody gravitates towards Fresno. When you're in the Valley area, Fresno is the place to go. It's just a big city. So much shit to do. You know, they have a virtual reality uh, store that's opening up soon that I'm, I'm going to be there like ASAP playing that shit. But you just want to go out there sometimes and have a good time. But that goes for anybody. I'm pretty sure there's Sudanians from down south that be like, one day I just want to go to San Francisco and be like, I want to see the city, bro. I want to see what it looks like out there. On it, for, on it to be, you know, run into some northerners out there that just want to put in some work. Like, yeah, man, we got some Sudanians from down south, fool. Yeah, hell yeah, we finally caught some southerners from down south slipping. Like that's that's really nothing to brag about. It's really nothing to look forward to. So why ruin the why ruin the experience for another man just because you feel like putting in work and feel like you know do a dog and somebody out? But that's just the way the gang culture is nowadays. So my video, my message to everybody here is like when you're in out of town or going to another town, just be on point, be on guard, keep through, child. I'm pretty sure everybody's experienced something like this once or twice in their lifetime. I bet you there's a plenty of you guys that went to a neighborhood and be like, you know what, bro? I don't, I don't like these vatos, bro, but they have a homegirl that's fine as shit, bro. I'm finna go beat guts. I'm finna wreck her guts and rearrange her insides straight up. That's crazy how men think like that. See, women, women look at it like, man, I'm finna, I'm, mm, the homeboy, he fine. He look good, bro. You know, he, gonna, he, gonna, he can get it tonight. But as men, even though we're only going to perform, you know, a two-minute, you know, stand-up session, but still... As men were over there like, bro, I'm finna make her toes touch her ears, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna blow her eardrums out, man. I'm finna be hitting the ear like, mm. she gonna hear me coming. Like, bro, if I get the chance, bro, I'm gonna hit all three holes and the nostrils, bro. I bet you I can fit in it, bro. You know what I mean? She gonna be breathing. She gonna be sniffing sperm, bro. Straight up. That's how, that's how men think, bro. And then, all, and then when we get there, we don't perform our best. You know, it sounded good in the text. It sounded good over the phone. You know, and it sounded good in our head. Like, hell yeah, I'm finna fold her up like a game of Twister. And it don't happen like that. Usually just mention there your doggy. And that's it. And then we're just laying there like, hey, can I get something to eat? I'm hungry. Please. Please. Ross, we, we turn into these babies, bro. We want to we want her to do things for us. Hey, can you massage my big toe? It hurt. I think I stumped that earlier. Please, babe. Come here. Come on. I just gave you some good. Just gave you some good. Come on. You're always going to remember that. Two minutes later? Yeah, right. But... If you ever going out of town, especially to Fresno, you know, shout out to all my Bulldogs that show me a lot of love. It show me a lot of support that follow me on IG. If you ever go to Fresno, just be on point. Be on guard. Don't go out there banging wherever you're from thinking it's okay, thinking you're going to get away with that. Because 95% of the time, you're not going to get away with that. So shout out to Fresno, California. Everybody knows it's Bulldogs versus everybody. They out there doing their thing. They don't play when it comes to their hometown. They don't play when it comes to gang banging. That gang bang on each other, bro. That's how serious it is. So do you what do you think it's gonna what do you think they're gonna think when somebody that's out of town or that's opposition shows up? Bro, that's like, bro, that's a free-for-all, man. That's a that's an easy win. That's an easy layup. Run it, dog. Trust me. So I'm glad you guys watched this video. Trip out on that video. Go check out that YouTube channel. I think it's called BDS624. And it's a Fresno Bulldog channel. They have music videos of all the Fresno rappers out there, the Fresno Bulldog rappers out there, amongst other things. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one live, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.